we want to solve the given equations. The first equation is x raised to the power of three-fifths equals 27. The first step will be to eliminate the fractional exponent by raising both sides of the equation to the power of the denominator. Remember, when we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. And because three-fifths times five is equal to three, if we raise both sides of the equation to the fifth power, we can eliminate the fractional exponent. So on the left side, again, because we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. If it's helpful, we can write five as five over one. Before multiplying, notice how the fives simplify out, leaving us with a three times one, or three. So now we have x cubed is equal to 27 raised to the fifth power. And now from here, to solve for x, we need to undo the cubing. And we can do this two ways. Because three times one-third is equal to one, we could raise both sides of the equation to the one-third power. Or we can also undo the cubing by taking the cube root of both sides of the equation. So let's write this equation down here below, and we'll take a look at solving it two different ways. Again, one way using rational exponents is to raise both sides of the equation to the power of the reciprocal of three, which is one-third. So we'll raise both sides of the equation to the one-third power. Because we have powers to powers, we multiply the exponents. Three times one-third is three-thirds, or one, giving us x to the first, or just x, equals on the right side, we have 27 to the fifth raised to the one-third power. Multiplying the exponents, we have 27 to the five-thirds power. And now let's go to the calculator and evaluate this. We have 27 raised to the power of five divided by three, enter, which gives us 243. X equals 243. Or going back to the equation where we had x cubed equals 27 to the fifth, we can also solve for x by undoing the cubing by taking the cube root of both sides of the equation. So let's also show this. The cube root undoes the cubing. The left side simplifies to x. We have x equals the cube root of 27 to the fifth, which going back to the calculator, if we press math and then option four, we have the cube root. And then we have 27 raised to the fifth, enter. And of course, we get the same result. Let's look at a second example. Here we have x to the five-sevenths equals 243. Again, for the first step, we will raise both sides of the equation to the power of the denominator to eliminate the fractional or rational exponent. So because the denominator is seven, we'll raise both sides of the equation to the seventh power. Multiplying the exponents, notice how the sevens simplify out, leaving us with x to the fifth. We have x to the fifth equals 243 raised to the seventh power. And now again, at this step, we have two choices. We can solve for x using a rational exponent or using a radical. So let's go ahead and write this equation again down here below, and we'll look at both methods. Using rational exponents, we would raise both sides of the equation to the power of the reciprocal of five, or five over one, which is one-fifth. So let's raise both sides of the equation to the one-fifth power. On the left, multiplying the exponents, five times one-fifth is five-fifths, or one. X to the first is just X. We have X equals 243. Here we multiply the exponents. So we have 243 raised to the 7 fifths power. Let's evaluate this on the calculator. 243 raised to the power of 7 fifths, or 7 divided by 5, which gives us 2,187. Or using radicals, to undo the fifth power, we can take the fifth root of both sides of the equation. The fifth root undoes the fifth power, giving us just x on the left. x equals the fifth root of 243 raised to the seventh. Going back to the calculator, we press math. And then because we have the fifth root, we select option five. We enter the index, which is five. Right arrow, and then we enter 243. 
raised to the seventh under the fifth root, enter, and of course we get the same result. I hope you found this helpful.